If you have been looking for a small pocket EDC flashlight that uses rechargeable batteries and AA batteries, the Through Night Saber may be the one you're looking for. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, before we get started, I want to thank Through Night for sending out the Saber so that I could share it with you. So there is just a short backstory that goes along with this. I've reviewed a couple of other flashlights, the Archer Pro and the Archer Pro V2, which are nice, compact, quite capable EDC flashlights, but their battery is non-replaceable. You can't access it. And that's a big con for a lot of people. I recognize that. So shortly after the last video review, which was the Archer Pro V2, Throughnight reached out and said, how would you like to take a look at the Sabre? And because it had the replaceable batteries, I grabbed it. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just go down to the tabletop. I'll quickly go over the specifications for this light, its key features. We'll get outside and do a couple of tests and we'll wrap this video up. Just before we focus in a little closer on the Through Night Saber, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. So the box it arrived in, very much like most of the Through Night boxes, the user manual and warranty information, and a USB Type-C charging cable. Now, it did also come with the attached pocket clip, which of course is removable, and it came with a rechargeable 14500 lithium ion battery. May as well show that to you now, because it's really one of the key features that is makes this light a little different, and that is that the battery is rechargeable by USB Type-C cable on the battery itself. So you don't have an external port to the light. You'll have to remove the battery to do it, which is fine. And the nice thing, of course, is you can replace this with a AA battery as well. All right, let's just put that back in the light. All right, so let's just uh, talk about the key features for a few minutes. And I'm going to bring in the Archer Pro to uh, compare it with because I think that's the closest light and one of the more recent lights that I've reviewed. So it has a tail switch, uh, which is kind of nice. But the nice thing about the tail switch, of course, is that it's easy to find. You don't have to search around a looking for a button that may be flush to the barrel of the flashlight. It's always there. What's nice about this tail switch is it does protrude a little higher well, than the um, Archer Pro but it's much stiffer, meaning there's very little chance of you accidentally turning the light on. As I mentioned, it has removable batteries and can use either the 14500 lithium ion battery or AA battery, and it comes with a two-year warranty, so it's hard to beat. So let's talk about its physical specifications, overall weight, and this is with the battery included, is 1.9 ounces or 55 grams. The length overall is 3.76 inches or 95.5 millimeters. The diameter 0.75 inches or 19 millimeters. It is waterproof rating to IPX8 and it has an impact rating of 1.5 meters. All right, as far as the performance specifications for the Through Night Saber go, I'm going to give it to you both for the 14500 lithium ion rechargeable battery, as well as a AA battery. And of course, all of the specs that I give you now will be listed in the video description below for your reference. So there is only two lumen settings on this light, a high and a low. High is 659 lumens, but that'll only last for 170 seconds. Well, that's almost three minutes. And then it will drop down to 276 lumens, but last for another 100 minutes. The low setting is 57 lumens, lasting for 19 hours. Now, if you sub out the 14500 lithium-ion battery and drop in a AA battery, it does drop the lumens as well. 235 lumens on high, lasting for 76 minutes, with 24 lumens on low, lasting for 14 hours. Now, what I thought I'd do before moving on is just bring in the Through Night Archer Pro so that you can get a size comparison between the two. So let me just bring those back a little bit so you can see they're very close in size, almost identical in terms of their height, almost identical in terms of their diameter, but the Archer Pro is a little wider in diameter and it's a little bit heavier. Otherwise, they have a lot of similarity in their look on the outside. Another difference, but very slight, is the fact that the Sabre has a more protruding uh, tail cap switch. I think you can see that there. And it's stiffer. 
And that gives you the advantage of not only a little bit easier to find, but it's much less likely to turn on accidentally in your pocket because you have to give it quite a push to turn it on. All right, that's the comparison between the two. The one last thing I'll say is as far as performance goes, the Archer Pro does have a turbo of 1,022 lumens. So it is a more powerful light, but of course it's a more expensive light and it does not have a replaceable battery. Okay, so let's just talk about operation of the Sabre. Really, it's just this simple. On, off. If I press it again, on and high and off. And that's the cycle you go through. It'll either come on in high or it'll come on in low. There is no memory. You just have to cycle through high and low. Simplicity may be not as versatile as other lights, certainly not as versatile as the Throughnight Archer Pro. But simplicity, I think, is a great thing to have in a small EDC flashlight like this. All right, there's not much else more to say about this. Why won't we take this light and the Archer Pro outside and do a few comparisons? All right, quick demonstration here in my backyard. I have a new shed installed, as you can see, and it's providing the good backdrop for this demonstration. And I'll we'll start with the Throughnight Archer Pro first. And this is the light on high, and then let me run it up to turbo. Yeah, considerably brighter, and, and it's working pretty good. So I, there's a lot more spill than what's showing on the camera, So, but you can see that it does illuminate very well. Now I'll take out the Sabre. And that is low. So low is not all that bright, but it's still a considerable amount of light for the size of this little flashlight. But let me take it up to high. And you can see that the way it is focused on the shed, it feels very much like the Archer Pro did on high. Not on turbo so much, but on high. I'd say that pretty even. Let's just turn the light on again. Let me make sure that is on. No, that's not. There we go. So that's the Archer Pro on high. And this is the Sabre on high. I'd think on high, the Sabre actually is putting out considerable more light, but it's more about how it is focused. A little bit more directional and a little bit more flood. But uh, yeah, that's actually quite a good comparison between the two lights. The Through Night Sabre. Nice, small, compact, lightweight EDC flashlight and I think that's what I like most about this. This just slides into my pocket with that two-way pocket clip so deeply that you barely even notice it's there. By the way the two-way pocket clip is ideal for attaching this light to the brim of a hat so that you can use it as a headlamp and with that lightweight it you barely notice it's there. It's certainly not weighing your hat down like some other lights can. Uh, besides those features, I really do like the simplicity of the tail cap switch. It's stiff enough that you're not likely to turn it on accidentally in your pocket. And it's just simple in that it just provides you high and low. Nothing special there at all. And of course, one of the hallmark features of this light is the fact that it is a replaceable battery. A, either the 14500 lithium ion battery that it came with or with a double ba A battery of your choice. All good features for sure. And maybe best of all, quite reasonable price. So I'll put all the information I have for this flashlight, both the specifications as well as the links to where you can take a closer look at it in the video description below. If you have any comments or questions, please put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.